In this video, we're gonna make some realistic looking model boxes that you can use on your model railroad or other diorama scene that you might be building. The material list you need is pretty simple. You need a paper bag. Uh, you're gonna need some glue of whatever type you wanna use, an X-Acto knife or other type of knife, a pair of scissors, a straight edge. And also, uh, if you have it, some type of uh, square tubing or piece of wood or piece of styrene, whatever you have. Something that you can use to help uh, shape your boxes um, it makes things a lot easier. You can do you can do it without it, but it does make everything go a lot faster and keeps your boxes more consistent in terms of their shape and size. And so to get started here, what we're gonna do is just take our paper bag and cut it into some strips uh, to make this whole process a little bit easier. And you can make hundreds of boxes out of one paper bag, if not thousands. So a little goes quite a long ways. The size tubing that you use, in this case, uh, I think this is quarter inch. That's gonna determine the size of your box. Obviously, if you wanna make smaller or bigger boxes, uh, a bigger or smaller piece of tubing can help you do that a lot faster. So I'll start with a smaller piece of the paper here. Um, I'm just gonna use my piece of brass rod here uh, as a cutting edge and make a, uh, a nice even cut here along one side without cutting my fingertips. So now what I wanna do is line up rod on one side and then make a series of, of just using the back of the knife blade, just kind of score the paper. Move the rod and do the same thing again. You can of course use a straight edge to do this, but I'm trying to use the rod as a way to keep everything, you know, even. Do that again. So now I essentially have five sections, it's kind of hard to see, but these lines will help me to bend uh, bend the paper and I'll actually use this to bend it around. But um, for now, I'll just leave it, uh, leave it like that. Now what you could do is just put it on here, bend it and make one long tube of, of paper that you could then cut up into you know, box size pieces and then use a small uh, pair of scissors and kind of clip them. Uh, and that'll work too. And um, that might be a, a little bit faster way to do it potentially. Um, but what I'm gonna do here for this first one at least is just do a single box. The, the flaps in the bottom, the top of the box need to be essentially half the width of this tube. And so I'm gonna kind of just ballpark that, make a score mark, put the tube on there, make another score mark, estimate another half box width, Slide that, <clears throat> slide that over. And now I've cut a piece of card of uh, paper here that has score marks in, in both directions. It's hard to tell here, but you're gonna have to basically cut the half sides or you know the shorter sides here to actually make all the flaps. So now you have a sheet of paper that has uh, some score marks as well as some pieces actually cut. And so those will be the flaps for the box. Now we're just going to bend the box and I'll take a touch of super glue, put this little dab there in the middle, and then I'm gonna use this rod as sort of a guide. Okay, squeeze that shut. Now we have our little box there without the flaps folded. And so now like a regular box, it's pretty much just going to be a matter of unfolding the different flaps closed on the box. So you can get the first ones down, I'm going to put a little dab of glue in there. So I can see I have the one side of the box, the flaps closed there. So now you can see we have our open box with flaps and you could leave it like that. And so you can decide if you wanna have your flaps of your box open like this, or you can close it up. You can put something inside of it. A lot of times what I'll do to help them keep their form, I will stuff a little piece of tissue in there, or you can stuff a little bit of extra paper in there. Uh, to help keep the box from getting crushed if you want to make sure it stays stay solid you can of course glue the box shut and make it just a you know a package um, this one i'm going to go ahead and uh, leave open for now you can see here uh, some of the boxes that i made and kind of smashed up as well as a garbage bag there which i'll have a link to how to make those and here in the forklift inside the warehouse you can see a pallet of eight of those boxes i made uh, i wrapped them with some uh, plastic actually just cling wrap um, to make it look like they are all bundled on that pallet you see there. So that kind of makes a nice detail. They're easy to make. They do, you know, they do take a little bit of time to make each one of them, but they do look very, very realistic. 
Um, they do look like cardboard boxes, so it's kind of a nice detail there that you can see. So anyway, there you go. Simple cardboard boxes, easy to make. Just use some plain brown paper from a shopping bag a few minutes at a time, and you can make your own realistic looking uh, boxes and any scale really uh, that can add some nice detail to your layout or diorama. Anyway, that's all for now, and thanks for watching. Bye.